I'm hurting, baby. I'm broken down. I need your loving, loving. I need it now. When I'm without you, I'm something weak. Hey guys, it's Hannah. So today I bring you this Valentine's makeup look. Um, this is the look that I wore in the video where I compared the two different drugstore foundations. So I had a lot of requests to do a tutorial on that. So this is the same exact look as in that video, except I added more dramatic lashes and some little bottom lashes. I hope you really enjoy it. I think that this look is perfect for Valentine's because the eyes will match any outfit that you want to wear or any hair color. And then I just paired it with a really like light pink lip which is very girly and flirty and I think it's good for daytime or nighttime. You can make it less dramatic if you want to take out some of the lashes. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see how I got this look then keep on watching. Hey guys, so I'm going to start off by using Max Painterly Paint Pot to prime my eyelid all the way up to the brow bone. This will also cancel out any veins or discoloration. Then I'm going in with MAC Soft Brown Eyeshadow on a 224 blending brush and I'm just going to blend that into my crease and then I'm also going to take it all the way into the inner corner and the outer corner. And then after I finish blending that really really well because this is going to be a transition color for all the other colors, I'm going to put it actually on the outer V and the inner corner to create sort of a spotlight in the center. Then I'm going to take Rule Eyeshadow by MAC and kind of just go over what I did with the soft brown, just not going quite as high up. I am using a stippling duo fiber brush for this. Then I'm just taking a clean blending brush and just sort of blending out the edges of that. And I do the same thing to the bottom that I do to the top. I leave the little spotlight section and I go in with soft brown and then after the soft brown I put a little bit of rule just close to the lash line. Then I am taking my Lorac Pro palette, sorry it's disgusting, and I'm taking Sable on a MAC 217 brush and I am just kind of putting that in a socket of the crease and then blending it downwards. And then after each step, I'm just going to make sure everything is really nice and blended in together, making sure I don't get it too much in that little spotlight area. Here I am using that soft brown again just to make sure it is blended. Make sure after every color you put, you go back in and blend again. Of course, I am also bringing that sable color down to the lower lash line as well, making sure I don't take it as far down. Then I'm spraying a dense brush with Fix Plus and taking MAC Mineralized Eyeshadow in Family Silver. And I'm just taking the lighter shade and putting that right in the spotlighted area, making sure that I match it to the other eye. You really just want to pack this on so that it'll be really vibrant. I also put it on the lower lash line in that little spotlight area, but I kind of missed the filming of it. And then I just take a little bit more of that sable just to kind of seamlessly blend it all together. Now I'm taking the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm just going to fluff my brows up and do the lower line with this very lightly. And then I'm also going to brush them down and create the line on the top. And then what I like to kind of do is just fill them in in the front with very soft little strokes to make it look like natural hair. And I pretty much only do this on the front part of my eyebrow because then I'm going to take the Brow Powder Duo and I'm just going to take the dark brown color and kind of finish the tail of the brow so it gets a little bit darker towards the outer part of my brow. Then I take Studio Finish Concealer by MAC on a very stiff brush and I just kind of clean up the edges. Then taking my favorite eyeliner from Urban Decay, like always, I, I line my tight line and my water line with this to define my eyes. Then I apply the Mega Liner by Wet n Wild, obviously in black, and I'm just going to do a thin line, that no wing or anything, just something to put the lashes on top of so that it will hide them. 
Taking Extra Dimension Mascara by MAC, I'm going to put a thin layer on my top and bottom lashes. I start with my bottom lashes because I'm going to put false lashes on them first and I want it to dry. And then I curl my top lashes just a little bit, nothing too drastic, just so they don't stick out and apply a coat to them. Now the next part I didn't film very well, I kind of was out of frame, but I take these little short single lashes and I'm going to apply four of them to my bottom lashes kind of spread out. And then I take Goddess Lashes from Coco Lashes. And these are my absolute favorite lashes, like hello, they are just amazing. But I use my Duo Lash Glue and I just pop those suckers right on the top lash line. Moving on to the face, I'm going to take Cubic Blush by MAC, and I'm going to just use a little angled brush, more of a dense brush since this is a lighter color, and apply that right over where I applied my bronzer and contour earlier before I filmed the video. And I just build that color up until it's exactly how I want it. A very nice soft flush on the cheeks. Then obviously I gotta take my Mary Luminizer because this stuff is just gorgeous and I just take a little Real Technique setting brush and I like to just kind of feather that on the high points of my face and make sure it's all nice and blended. I mean we really want this look to be nice and soft and kind of airbrushed. And then obviously Dervish lip liner, I, I use this all the time, this is my absolute favorite lip liner, I can't get enough of it, but I'm going to line my lips with that, no dramatic overlining or anything, just kind of defining my lips and then I'm going to fill in just like the outer corners of the lip and leave the center of it blank so that it, it kind of fades in with the next color that we're going to put. Now I'm taking Myth by MAC and I'm just going to put that right in the center of my lips. It's okay if it looks kind of crazy because it's all going to blend in the end but I just kind of keep adding and adding that until it's how I want it. And then I take my finger and I kind of blend the two colors together so there's no crazy lines. And then I'm going to cover it with Eclair Butter Gloss by NYX. And then the two colors underneath this is just going to kind of add a highlighting effect to the lips. This is my favorite lip gloss ever. It's so beautiful. And then we are done. Without you, I'm such a weak. All right, that about wraps up this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day, if you have any plans yet. I know it's kind of early, but I kind of wanted to get this video up, so if you guys are kind of trying to think about what you want to do for your makeup or your hair or whatever for Valentine's Day, you had like some options to look at, and oh my god, there's a big ass bug outside the window. Okay, so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe while you're here so that we can be friends forever and you can see any upcoming videos that I will put out for you and leave any video suggestions in the down bar below because I'm doing three videos a week now which is like triple what I was doing before so but yeah so I hope you guys have a great day thank you so much for watching I love you all